Hi there, in this video I'm going to machine the valves for this uh, little odds and ends engine. Okay, so this is a drawing of the valves and springs and it's roughly to a scale of around about 2 to 1. And I'm going to make the valves in uh, using two pieces of silver steel. The stem will be made out of one of these pieces of silver steel which is already an eighth of an inch in diameter. And all I need to do with this is cut it to length and then drill a hole through here for the retaining pin for the springs. Uh, once I've done that then I'll uh, look at making the head and the head will be made out of this piece of 3 eighths of an inch silver steel. So I'll face it off then I'll drill through with an eighth of an inch drill bit, well I'll ream it to an eighth of an inch. Once I've done that I'll use a parting tool to part it off just over size. Then I'll join the two pieces together using some silver solder, then I'll put it back on the lathe and then just finish machining this uh, the, the head. Well I've cut the uh, valve stems to length so now I need to uh, find the centre of it and uh, drill a hole 3 30 seconds of an inch from this end. Okay, so I've decided to move it to, to the right a little bit out of the um, vise so I can offer some support with this adjustable parallel. So I need to find the edge and then uh, move it in by uh, 3 30 seconds of an inch which is 0 0.0938. So we'll move it in uh, three millimeters to get the edge. And now again, uh, point zero nine three eight. And this is um, an ER eleven collet chuck. And this is a number 60 drill bit, which is uh, 40 thou. So for the head, I'm just going to uh, face this end. Well, I've just uh, seen an error in my drawing. Um, the width of this valve head should be 5 64ths and not 5 30 seconds as I'd written it down. Uh, but anyway, 5 64ths is 0 0.0781 of an inch. Um, so I'm going to part this off at uh, 0 0.09, so that gives me some flexibility then once I've uh, soldered it onto the stem. I can just take it down to the proper uh, dimension.
So I've uh, put some flux on and uh, put a bit of silver solder at the top and now uh, we need to heat from the bottom and hopefully it'll uh, go to plan. <laughs> pretty good. Well I reckon another 12th out to come off to bring it down to uh, 5 64 Okay, so now to uh, cut the valve seat. Now the compound slide hasn't changed angle at all. It's in the same position as it was when I cut the seats on the um, cages. So um, let's see how we get on. Well, that seems to have turned out okay. I've just done some initial tests just by blowing there, and they seem to have a good seal. Not even lapped them yet. And this one fits in there. so far so uh, I need to get on and make some springs okay so for the exhaust valve spring um, it needs to be made out of some size 10 music wire and uh, the overall length is uh, 1 and a 16th of an inch approximately 11 coils with the outside diameter 5 16ths of an inch and the intake valve spring needs to be made out of size 4 wire 12 coils, again uh, 1 and a 16th in length, and um, again the outside diameter 5 16ths of an inch. Now, the machinery handbook um, has got various tables in that tells you how to, uh, you know, what size mandrel you need to use for what size wire and stuff like that, but um, I'm just going to experiment. So these are some mandrels I used when I made the springs for the farm boy. So I think first of all 
I'm going to have a go at making the ex exhaust valve spring using this mandrel. So this is going to be a bit rough and ready. So um, I marked on um, just for guidance some increments here. There's only I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I actually need eleven coils. So that te that tells me that I need to make a coil at least every one of these. And I'm going to start off making uh, a couple of um, coils together. So, um, so we'll turn the lathe at the slowest speed and see what happens. That's the starting point. Take that off and see what it looks like. Actually, I can't believe how well that's turned out <laughs> for a first attempt. And uh, it might be difficult demonstrating it, but that will go on like that. So it should fit once we get the keeper in. So I think I'll have a go at uh, making the intake one. So the intake valve spring is a lot thinner. Uh, needs around about 12 coils on it and um, the mandrel I used for the exhaust was uh, around about a quarter of an inch in diameter this is about 0.23 so uh, we'll give it a try Well that's my other attempt at the intake and um, there's 10 coils on it, not 12, but apart from that it looks pretty much spot on. So I think we'll give that a try. Okay so what I've done is uh, I've uh, made a couple of valve keepers out of uh, a piece of brass. Um, they're not as elegant as in the design but they're functional. And uh, what I decided to do to uh, give it a, a bit of a compression test so I got this piece of scrap aluminium, um, put a hole through it, soldered uh, a connector to it and um, drilled and tapped a couple of holes to hold the assembly and uh, I've put um, a gasket in there, out of, yeah, made up a gasket out of some gasket paper, no seal or anything like that and uh, currently the compressor is running at 50 psi and I can't hear a leak whatsoever no leak anywhere I've not even got the bolts holding this <laughs> what was that all about okay so this is my third attempt at this test um, <laughs> I attached the uh, pipe and uh, put this bit of a clip on it and um, the top blew off because <laughs> I've not got it bolted down but anyway um, I've got it bolted down this time I can't hear a leak anywhere I've turned the compressor down to 40 psi which I think is pretty good um, but there's no sign of any leak whatsoever that seems to work perfectly. Uh, what I did before the test is I um, used a bit of um, valve grinding paste to, just to lap them in. Um, it was 500 grit. I only spent about 
well half a minute just doing that sideways um, so I'm really happy with the result and on the engine the assembly will just bolt onto there And in here you can actually see the valve seats. Well, it's a gorgeous morning out there at the moment and uh, it's, it's even so good that uh, we've just had uh, three hot air balloons go over the house and on this occasion none of them came close to our chimney, which is a bonus. Well, I can't believe how well that's turned out. I'm really chuffed. Um, no leaks whatsoever, and uh, I don't think I could have wished for a better result. And I'd like to thank everybody for the help and support my advice provided. Um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, I hope some of you found the video of interest, and I hope to see you later.